everyone, I'm Sarah Holzer, the SEO manager here at Saltbox Solutions, and I'm here to talk to you today about the most underused features of Google My Business. So let's unbox it. So to know why it is so important for local businesses to take advantage of all these underused Google My Business features, first you need to know why Google My Business is so important to local businesses. Google My Business is so important to local businesses because this is how people are deciding in your community what businesses they're going to go and give their business to. 72% of consumers that did a local search visited a store within five miles. 88% of searches for local businesses on a mobile device either call or visit the business within 24 hours. And there's been a 900% increase in near me searches in the last two years. So with all this being said, you need to be taking full advantage of everything your Google My Business has to offer to make sure that all that information is on your listing so people can decide to go with your business over some of your local competitors. So today I'm gonna to review the three most underused Google My Business features and how you can take full advantage of these features to make the most of your Google My Business listing. So number one is your products and service offerings. Product slash service categories allow you to create a menu of your business offerings right in your GMB listing. This is great for your customers to be able to explore your business's service right from maps, but also great for Google to know which local service and products keywords your business is relevant to. This is a great place to outline all your newest services, all the products that you offer to make it so you can show in local map results for different services when people are searching for that type of business near them. Number two is Google Post. When you think of Google Post, you should think of it as a social media platform straight from your Google My Business listing, where you can display all your newest offerings, some quick news, and even coupons and offers straight from your GMB listing. There are four main types of Google My Business Post. Offer Post, Update Post, Event Post, and Product Post that pair with several different call to action options. Whether you want sent to send someone straight to book right from your Google My Business Post, order online, buy, learn more, sign up, or call now. My biggest tip from taking full advantage of these Google My Business posts would be to test, test, test. Every market and every business has different levels of interactions with GMB posts, but luckily for small business owners, Google My Business make, offers these posts as a free tool for you to work with. Test different post types, call to actions, and imageries to find what works best for your business. There are a few different ways that you can make sure that your posts stand out in Google My Business posting. Number one, use a clear, clean photo or graphic that includes text, especially for offers. We've definitely seen the most clicks and interactions with posts when the offer is clear within the photo. Number two, always include a call to action, preferably to a link on your website. This allows your customers to continue to explore your offer or content more in depth on your website. Number three, share new blog content from your website in Google Posts. This is going to help increase traffic signals to new posts on your website. And fourth, but definitely not least, is always use UTM tracking parameters to see what kind of traffic your website is getting from Google My Business. And number three is different customer interaction Google My Business features that a lot of people forget to take advantage of. And for this one, I kind of bundled two for one. Number one is to make sure that you're interacting with your customers on Google My Business questions and answers. Questions and answers is a lesser known Google My Business features. Q&A allows customers to ask questions right on your Google My Business listing. The problem with this feature is that while customers can ask the questions, they can also answer them. So it's important that business owners do not ignore this feature of Google My Business. To avoid customer answers showing for your questions, make sure that you're answering these questions on a monthly basis, that you're upvoting the business owner answer to ensure it lands on top, and feel free to ask questions that customers normally ask in your business and answer them straight on your listing so that you can make sure that the most up-to-date questions and answers are showing on your listing. One really important tip for the Q&A section of your Google My Business profile is that this is one of the only GMB features that you can't see from your Google My Business dashboard. These can only be seen in search results. So to answer these questions, you need to Google your business name, 
Scroll down to your listing, probably on the right side of the screen, and then answer these questions straight from your GMB listing. The second most unused customer interaction feature is interacting with your customers in review responses. Review responses are the, an easy way to show customers what it's like to interact with your business straight from the convenience of your GMB listing. Positive review responses help you build customer loyalty and show how much you appreciate the local business, and negative reviews let you showcase the integrity of your business making the best of a negative experience. Some do's and don'ts of responding to your customer reviews. Do, always respond to all reviews, not just the good ones and not just the bad ones. Offer a solution to any negative reviews. Thank customers for your positive reviews. And feel free as an extra ad bonus to use keywords of services in review responses, but only when natural. Some things to absolutely not do when you're responding to Google My Business reviews is don't fight with customers in your responses and don't use templated responses. Using these two features can show people straight from your GMB platform what they can expect on a personal level when interacting with your business. So make sure that you're forming positive communication with your customer straight from your GMB profile by taking advantage of Q&A and review responses. So to help you take advantage of all these underused GMB features, and make sure that you're staying on top of keeping your Google My Business profile optimized, we've created a GMB to-do list. This to-do list includes weekly, monthly, and quarterly tasks for you to take advantage of to make sure that you're keeping your Google My Business profile up to date. Some of the weekly tasks include checking for any new Google suggested changes, responding to those new reviews, and sharing a site article in your Google post. Monthly, you should make sure you're responding to your Q&A, setting your holiday hours for the next month, and creating a monthly promotional post with your newest offer. And then quarterly, keep your Google My Business up to date by adding new images, analyzing your GMB insights, updating products and service offerings, and taking a look for any duplicate listings. You can find this GMB checklist as a download on our website at Saltbox Solutions. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you learned a lot today about how to take advantage of these underused features of Google My Business. And remember, always be optimizing.